It's a nice start. As a left-handed player, are still not used to the ball coming at you the way it does when you play your normal opponents, who usually are right-handers. All those consecutive points, four in a row for Kerber here. Make that five, an early break then. in the business pulling that one down the line and Fernandez has to be ready for that Kerber is so good at well, Fernandez ahead of the Olympics and ahead of the US Open well, that's a nice response Kerber's going to have to put more on her serve and you see the eagerness of Fernandez to go after anything short But we're seeing early that Fernandez is, likes to go to the, the drop shot. Sacking into this contest. Look at the court positioning. Fernandez close to the baseline. Kerber. Forehand up the line. 13. Yes, and again, it's going to be forehand to forehand here. So it's forehand to forehand. And against most players, that's okay. But against a curve, hit that so well down the line, you have to be conscious of that. And taking care of her serve is going to be so critical for taking care of sir, critical for both. Here's some good aggressive tennis so far. First game and a half, it looked like Osa that that Kerber was really going to try to establish her more of the power player out here, but Fernandez responding beautifully. Well, there it is again. Winner off that wing. I think that's the third up the line. Well, as a lefty, you're, you're natural. Watch how she steps in the court and look how she holds that backhand coming up. Looks like she's going to hit through it and then changes it up at the last second. Just executed perfect. Well, There's another element that impressed me. It's quite a group. Fernandez making Kerber just pull out the kitchen sink there. <laughs> the angle on that previous forehand and then her bread and butter down the line. Second chance. Oh, that is world class. 
Jews. Get another win over one of the very best in the world. This, and she gets the break. Started to try to play fairly big and now is almost being forced to. Oh, that is quite brilliant. She, she plays within herself. There's no question about it. And... Look at the footwork. Watch how she gets around this beautifully with her forehand. Three-time major champion. <laughs> Quality of the opposition so far. Kerber's got to know that anything short in the court, Fernandez can take care of it. That's beautifully. Jeez. A couple of double faults. Might just shake the confidence, but impressive response. Kerber knows you cannot. And if you're Kerber, you're going to kick yourself if you don't get the break when someone's double faulted, handed you three points. perfectly placed that was more of a panic type of a of an effort there and got what it deserved and well, that's a tough game for Leila Fernandez three double faults along the way Kerber takes advantage 2016 was an incredible year for her two majors that season another final The, the year she won here in New York, beating Pliskova in the final that year. Now it gets, sorry, it gets a little more complicated. from Kerber had no right to win that point but she's finished on top and that time and time again from Kerber in her career don't mess with me I'm going to run everything down and when she gets in this type of a groove she's very difficult to put a ball by That is inch perfect. What a way to break. Oh, oh. what a rally. <laughs> Miss Fernandez is requesting a replay of the call on the right, far sideline. So clip the net. We're going to get the close call, though. Yeah, this isn't a challenge. <laughs> To wrap up. Throw in some of the drop shots. Hit a few very well, but then a couple were just ill timed. There have been a couple sights to behold out here that have been just so wonderful to watch and be a part of. And that serve got what it deserved. <laughs> and
takes that, that pressure as she it's Kerber. Three chances. It's a good job saving the first. This is that was the easy one. She set it up. Forehand goes well long. It is the break of serve. Pumping. Never excoriates herself when things are, are not going well, and they're not going well right now. Yep. 50, 50. Again, and we, we've seen it a, a couple of times, just a little bit of panic. And you think, oh, well, maybe I can come in behind that. But where Kerber had left the whole court open would have been easy. Well, it's been a really good period for Angie Kerber. Having been down a break of serve. Kevin leads by three games to one. We're either Grand Slam champions still in the draw or players that, that have been close to winning slams. Talk about her just oh yeah <laughs> let me use this round now but uh we had another grand slam champion go out today in Halep. but then you've got one that and rescue and sakari in there both think they do pliskova thinks she does Shrontek, benchich nice from fernandez yeah it's a good game Finishing with the net. I haven't seen that. It was a good approach. Did a good job with that short forehand. Elise Mertens faces Sabalenka, the second seed. It's a good move forward. Gets down on this the forehand that that set herself up for the volley. soon. 4-3 serving Kerber. I think if she makes a quick start to one of these Kerber service games though and you get a bit of crowd support so that can make the German feel uncomfortable. Tier you can see in that picture, there's a huge upper tier to this court. Oh, my! <laughs> and they are up at 18. She's become a pro in so many respects, but it's her tennis that's gotten her to this point where she can bring the crowd in. They were looking for something and she's given it to them. This crowd fully behind the Canadian. Change 
what a finish. Easy to do. And look at that angle, the flick of the wrist and lefty to lefty, cross court to cross court, and it was. Just seven of 19 seconds serve points one today. said superbly <laughs> she wins these points she does it with style with aggression and okay everyone I know I threw in two doubles but I'm I'm gonna get it right back that's a point Game. finish I thought she'd made a mess of it with the, the initial pickup, no, which was a do. little heavy handed. But. but look at this. Look how she closes in. She just closed in and she's got really nice hands. Two points from taking us into a decider. Back comes Kerber. Venom and intensity from the German this time. Fernandez right there goes behind her, especially when Fernandez has been hitting the forehand exceptionally well. He is not done yet in this 12th game. work ahead. quality right now and that's the reactions that Kerber gives you when she knows she's doing something special this place loving every minute her reach <laughs> How good was the tail end of that game? Same, same goal, second set. Both players giving it everything. Just incredible. And Kerber just sticking that racket out when she needed to. How good's that? Forehand battle. Fernandez coming out on top and setting things up. This is a special passage of play. Almost a carbon copy of a 400 return that Fernandez produced. Oh, what a response! Just 
when you think it can't get any better. First one saved. Fernandez makes her hit two winners. A chance. Fernandez seals it. Shot making during those last well, heading into the tiebreak. It was an incredible 12th game when Kerber fought off a set points and eventually held forced the shootout. There's no hangover for Fernandez having missed that chance. Straight back on it and the quality from both. Early stage is always important. Kerber is the more experienced will be even more aware of that. It's often a good indication, isn't it? When you look at the stats and you see the winners to unforced errors ratio, both in the positive for, for both players. Just so good like that we just talked about the timing this sits up and she just throws everything at it yes. clean as a whistle and it's the forehand that's the biggest shot on the court at the moment you can tell even that first serve just feeling it Trying to put a little more on it. Oh, she's missed it. The second serve is short. Oh, she went geez. after it. She's feeling it. Just keep coming at her. some nuance to her game but probably not the timing for it because she's just hitting through the ball so well one serve early in the third one two and is serving It is very, very impressive for the German. In fact, she's won her last eight three set matches. That goes back to Bad Homburg, that grass court title she won a couple that week. Nice cool. No, and very clear in her thinking at this point, using that forehand. from the teenager once more. You saw it coming. And vintage. Oh, and the drop shot was well executed in that it brought Kerber in and in a, in a place that she's not as comfortable and the legs of Fernandez in the end winning her this one. Oh, so good. Huge boost. Just, just knocked a bit of the stuffing out of Kerber. Double break points. And 
she breaks. The youngster makes a move. She's making all the right decisions at the moment. Even though she's playing a lefty, was comfortable with the wide serve, set up the forehand, and then shows that she's got more beyond that. Look at that last 10 points, 9 to 1, breaking Curver down. Just easy pickings and not only breaking down the game of Curver, but. after that thrilling conclusion to the second set. And at the moment... We are watching something absolutely remarkable. Playing one of the greats of this generation. Chances for a double break. If she can keep repeating that, then we're still in a match, but that, that it has to be that good. Order. <laughs> Goodness me. Serving for a place in your first Grand Slam quarterfinal, down break point. This is the way to save it. And the angle and the pace created. Played a wonderful point. I must have thought she was in good shape as she moved forward. Canadian with match point. <laughs> Leila Fernandez. <laughs> who turns 19 <laughs> tomorrow. Gives herself the perfect birthday present, a place in her very first Grand Slam quarterfinal. It is another performance to remember for the Canadian. She's done it 6-2 in the third.